Hello everybody, Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team. So we're working in GarageBand, but I want to show you a unique use of GarageBand specific to the interoperability of some of the different apps that we've learned. So GarageBand is solely an audio project tool, but because the Apple apps, including iMovie, GarageBand, iPhoto, all work within one another, there's a great way for you to customize the audio um, in a project and then send that over to iMovie to create the video end of that project. So we know that GarageBand is really a powerful multi-track editing program, which means we can have lots of complex layers and sound brought into that, and music and sound effects brought into it. But once you've created that great audio piece, how do we send it over for um, creation with a multimedia movie project? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here we are, I've got my test audio project. I just wanna show you, I've got four different layers here. I've customized this for my video project. I've read my parts, I've done all I need to do as a student, but now my teachers asked me to take this particular audio and put it with some interesting, unique, copyright free images that will really help to set the mood and tell the story. So what I'm gonna do is go to my songs again, place where you just were, I'm gonna select so that they jiggle and then I'm going to click test audio project and up here in the hang on one second in the left hand side I've got our send button here and here I can open in and when I open in set my information share it's going to mix this song down and do a single track but then it's going to give me open in iMovie which is just an amazing feature so now it says, hey, what did you want to do with that particular audio project? And I said, I'm going to start a new movie. So create a new movie. You'll notice it just brought my green test audio project, which happens to be the audio I worked in in GarageBand, right into this fun thing so that I can start mixing in some of my other images. Sorry about that. So I can start mixing in some of my other videos and images that I need to. Drop that down, things that I have brought in from my camera roll. And as you can see, I have now just started to add a multimedia element to my audio only project. I have customized my audio, layered it nicely. And when you start to think about what this means for students, we now have the ability for them to create really solid audio projects that demonstrate their thinking and what they know about something. But then to kick it up a notch, we have them bring in the visual element of that, which is great for some of our visual learners, but it's also a whole different way of thinking about the project and how you're going to present it. Um, lots of great ideas for this. One that I saw from a teacher recently though was they took an essay that they would have previously just have written then had the students narrate that and using GarageBand's one way of doing that. Then they kicked that narration, complete with background music for setting mood and sound effects. They kicked that over to GarageBand and then they brought in some original artwork and some original uh, images that they had in their own possession, brought that into iMovie. And you went from an essay, which only a small percentage of people would probably read and feel the impact of, to a movie which contained the essay, the narration, and the images, as well as selected background music, and reached a much larger audience. So that's a pretty powerful use of it. And as you start to look at Blooms, climbs those scale quite a bit of Blooms to those highest levels of creation. So one way to, to use it and send an audio project out of GarageBand and start using all of the tools that we have here in the iPad. As always, if you have questions, feel free to shoot them our way.